Hello, my name is Joe, and welcome to another edition of Joe's Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel, where I've decided to step into Red Dead Online. Now, recently, Rockstar was uh, offering Red Dead Online just by itself for $5 on Steam. And I had never tried this title, but uh, I always had a thing for the Old West, and so I thought I'd give it a try. Now, strictly speaking, it's not exactly the Old West. This game is set in 1899, so... Basically, the, the West is dying, you know, electricity and the Industrial Age are here uh, and starting to get going as the turn of the century approaches. Um, so it's uh, modern conveniences mixed in with the flavor of the Old West. So let's see. Let's see. I've been looking forward to giving this title a try and uh, trying to learn as much about it as I could so that uh, we'd be able to have as much fun as possible. And for $5, I figure I can't go wrong, and it should be at least $5 worth of fun, I'm sure. I've also, uh, <clears throat> speaking of this title and things that I've learned about it, I heard that it can be a little quirky with some uh, okay, graphic sir. cards and settings. Here they are. So... Tell the marshal this ain't Hopefully it likes my setup. things here. But I'll oblige him this once. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. So, apparently this is where we choose our character. Come on. And just for fun, I'll create a female character. Okay, you, head through there. Wow, she looks like she's been I'm beat up. Your details. <laughs> All right, you aren't let's going see. anywhere, and neither am I. Curious to see what options we have here. Take the time and get this right. Well, those look like crazy eyes. <laughs> From what I hear, you ain't leaving us anytime soon. So I'm guessing that these are basically uh, We're gonna need a general heritage head. groupings, and then from here we should be able to customize. So let's see. Hmm. I wonder if she, we should make her look innocent. nice and crazy. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> Quite a record we'll have on you. You know what? We'll, we'll make her 21. Um, let's see. Ronnie? Hmm. You're lucky you were caught, you know. The way the town feels about what happened, you were likely to be shot. Give her a couple of bounds there. It's a process, all right, but a necessary one. You know what? Why not? We'll, we'll give her a couple of pounds there, just for fun. Wow, those are really crazy eyes. Um, How you doing with that? I, I, I don't know. I mean, that, that face says, I just discovered peyote. Okay, then. Yep. Your son out 
Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, make them a little full. Yeah, we'll make it thin. Um, let's see. Yeah, jaw is fine. We'll give her small ears. Hmm. Wide cheeks. Ooh. Yeah, that, that makes me want to kiss you. <laughs> One more out. <laughs> ah, these these options for teeth. But they all look bad. Uh, I guess that looks the least bad. Um <laughs> Uh, let's see, what do we have for hair options? Curly ponytail. Oh, oh, I can rotate her in order to see what we're looking at here. What the... Uh... Oh, space buns. Do 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 do, pompadour. Hey, there we go. That that goes well with the the crazy eyes. <laughs> well, of course, at some point, I I want her to be able to wear a hat. Um, you know what? Here. A little drop curl, and let's see her hair color. Let's see what options we have here. You know what? That looks good. Ah, lifestyle. Hmm. What has she been doing with her life? Rugged. Yeah, let's make her rugged. Rugged. Uh, whether it is fine well here let's see can't really tell what these are doing alcoholic <laughs> sure alcoholic how's that uh toughened no freckles or moles. Uh... Wow, these are all bad. Uh, we'll just say none. You know what? Yeah. You, you get crazy eyes uh, from having scars in your face. Um, oh, yeah, she looks wide awake. <laughs> they got that part right. Uh, let's see.
and make her, her makeup a little silly. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll make her practical. She's not going to bother with makeup. The heck with that. All right. So this is a gal that eats well and lives life on her own terms. Although, you know what, in second thought, we'll, we'll age her up a decade. Oh, get a whistle, huh? Let's see. Bring the pitch up. Okay. Um, I don't know what good these attributes are, so I'm just going to leave them at the defaults. Oh, but I have two points left to assign. Well then, you know what? Let's put him in hell uh, in case she gets a shot or something. I may regret that later, but... If it's all correct, I'll take a photograph. Place your palms by your chest now for me. Uh, she looks like a killer. <laughs> All right, welcome to Red Dead Online. So let's uh, let's get the uh, the full experience. Some months later. Ah, the female wing of the penitentiary, huh? Jackson! Officer Jackson, move those prisoners! Officer Benton! Kitchen's a staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves! Well, this is an orange is the new me? black. <laughs> what are you looking at? Go on, get moved. You, you, you with the hammer, and you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out near Blackwater. Come on, get in. I love how, how crazy she looks. This on, looks Milligan. like a mad dog killer. is ready to shoot some yeah. people. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You like to stay calm in there. We weren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. <laughs> you know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary. Doesn't add much to the world. Education. I like the atmosphere they're setting up here. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. 
Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Went, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, ma'am, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. All right. Well, let, let's find someone to shoot. Then you better get on this horse. Well, so far, this is visually a very appealing animal, title. But they haven't got far to ride. Ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months at Sissica Penitentiary, awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks have left you entirely broken, in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up and those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. I still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were, came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that, too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you, forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course, but you will listen to my mistress first. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience, at least. You've been away for a while, so we'll help you get set up in the world. Then if you want to accept our offer, you can. That's more than reasonable. And freedom out on the range can wait a few moments longer, can't it? He's just up here. There's the camp. Hit your horse. Okay, approaching the hitching post. <laughs> Come on, hitch up. This way. She's anxious to meet you. Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica Leclerc, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. Anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. 
Well, guess I can't go around your clothes in there. prison stripes. Alongside a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. Here we go. I guess I get to, uh... Oh, well, not much choice there. <laughs> it's either you have a hat or you don't have a hat. Oh, but I do get to choose the color. All right. Well, let's see what else can I choose. Oh, good. I can give her a coat. I guess dark colors are, are more her thing. Although, I like the contrast. Here we go. So we'll grab that. Good, then I it looks like I can pick multiple ones here. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, and so she'll wear the last thing that I clicked on, but I guess they're all part of my inventory. <laughs> well, nothing here. It's all grayed out. I guess I'll have to get that later. Oh, these are the current pants. There we go. These look like nice blue jeans. See anything else? Okay, boots. Kind of like those. If I get spurs, I'll, I'll take those. All right, so we're back to hat. Finalize your starting clothes. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. That looks more comfortable. Holly? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out and kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only <sighs> other crazy victims eyes, of their man. lives still oh. alive. You see... You walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. 
Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife. Society patroness, lover of the arts. Crook, my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother. Outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. LeClerc would like to help you get back on your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. <laughs> I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then Hawley, go introduce her to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you, better than most of his ilk. Cripps! <clears throat> Get up! <laughs> Hello, partner. Hawley? <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. LeClerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, where are we headed? Oh, well, let's see. W what do I get to choose here? Hmm. Uh, oh. I, I guess I can only get one place to start. Oh, and, uh, madam. While Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. Well, my character does have the face of a killer. Uh... <laughs> Get on to the station. It's not too far. Okay, let's see. I guess the highlighted horse is going to be mine. <laughs> oh, I, I like that they have this little built in GPS. be the lightning bolt and then the health will be the little heart like I'm pushing my horse a little too hard. Well, I guess that'll have to be uh, one of the things that I uh, will work on is uh, see about earning myself a better horse. <laughs> this horse doesn't seem like uh, it's going to be able to get me very far very quickly. See someone who looks like they need a little help there on the map. I guess that must be who I'm here to see. Hello! 
You, uh, you must be a Horley's friend. He's one of us. He said you are also a discouraged creature. Now, I will be honest. I try not to talk too much to women. I, well, let's leave that. Alden, that's me. But Horley insisted you was okay. I'm very discouraged, you see. Anyway, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sort of. I find your reticence charming. Real charming. <laughs> I heard you might want to earn a little extra money. Well, some gentlemen have been robbing our stages, and they are not part of the club, if you catch my meaning. If you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up in tall trees. See what you can do, okay? Here, by the way, a catalog. The latest issue just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if things work out, well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed. And all of us are very discouraged. We will all help you with pertinent information, even if you are a lady. Good afternoon, ma'am. <laughs> Real boys club, huh? All right. Well, let's see. Um, let's get our scrawny nag here. Okay, so it's the mouse wheel for weapons. One of the things that encouraged me to take up this title is that when I was looking for information about Red Dead Online, I noticed that all the videos seemed to be from channels that were playing them on console. I couldn't seem to find any videos of anyone playing Red Dead Online on PC. So they would say, well, you know, on this console, it's it's X and triangle, and I don't know what it is on PC. And I'm like, oh, give me a break. So um, if you've been curious to see what Red Dead Online looks like on PC, well, maybe we can have fun with this title here on this channel. Great, what is this, a lot of pollution? much coal. Let's see, where am I going anyways? Uh, oh, not too far from here. Alright, well, as little stamina as this horse has, it should be able to make it to where we're going. I spoke too soon. <laughs> this horse fatigues very easily. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? I'll go the rest of the way on my own two feet. Some bad people out here, huh? Could they be hiding? Well, I was hoping for a better look, but I guess not. <laughs> Whoops. Apparently she's not very good at uh, hopping down, even from a small height. Oh, 
American ginseng. Well, I guess I can gather stuff in this game. Well, let's see. Hmm. I wonder what else we can gather as we go along. That's right, I remember seeing in a video that there is a type of vision that you can activate. Let's see. Oh, and I think I found it. So, the plants that glow are the ones that we can harvest. And then these become ingredients for uh, recipes and tonics and... And I think that this vision is also handy for finding living things as well. Although I'm starting to wonder where this hideout is. Am I in the right area? Oh, I guess so. Let's run around here. So somewhere within this area, whoops, I think I found this the place. out the outlaws and I notice what looks like uh, a vision cone so indicating what direction I think he's looking yep and I'm right ah, headshots are always good Oops. Uh oh <laughs> now I have to be ready to fight <laughs> Okay, apparently, uh, speaking of PC controls, the cover seems to work the same way it does in um, Grand Theft Auto. So it's just a Q for cover. Oh, here we go, E for loot. Some other goodies to gather here. Okay. Okay. What? You're good. You're real good, friend. Here. Take this. The map. Just be kind. Don't kill me, please. Yoink. I'll take that. Oh, but by the way, she is anything but kind. Oh, come on. I couldn't hit this guy? Oh, am I not allowed to shoot him? It seems to... 
It allows me to fire around him, but I can't seem to shoot him. Oh, well. I want to kill. I want to kill them all. After all, she's got the crazy eyes. She's not going to show mercy to anybody. All right, well, let's see if there's anything else good to pick up around here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was picking up some of whatever this is. I assume that these things will come in handy a little later. I'm kind of a pack rat when it comes to these types of uh, time also. I like to pick up everything I see that flashes or glows until basically uh, my bags are full. These uh, cans are glowing. Oh, can vegetables. I have to get in front of these items just pro uh, perfectly in order to be able to loot them. I mean, there's a lot of interesting objects here, but only some of them apparently are things that she'll pick up and use. I'll look around and see if anything else looks pocketable. Nope, that may have been it. Okay, open your satchel. So this is the map the guy gave me. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is me. Let's see, can I set a waypoint? I sure can. All right, well. Oh, H to whistle for the horse. Okay. Ah, that must be what the whistle I had to select in my character creation screen is for. The horse whistle. <laughs> Come on, horse. We have places to go. People to kill. Honestly, if I get there before the horse shows up, I'm shooting that horse. You got a bullet with your name on it. Oh, you know, in Grand Theft Auto, it's F to get into a vehicle. But in this game, it seems to be E to mount the horse, so... I mean, most of the controls seem like other Rockstar titles, but they, they did make that one change there. Let's see. Well, hopefully this place I'm going to isn't very far. So far, I mean, for five bucks, this is an absolutely gorgeous title. I love how they uh, they built this world. Got all kinds of critters roaming around, and Here. 
Whoops. Oh. Branches and more branches, huh? Taking me back down? <laughs> I just came up here. Uh, all right. Okay. Use the eagle eye for the glow. All right. I wonder what the glow looks like. Um, hopefully, it's obvious. That GPS is kind of loopy. It, it led me up there when I really needed to come down here. I'm not just second guess that thing. Uh, of course, it's just like GPS in real life. Yeah. Take whatever it says with it. Oh, this must be the glow. Take whatever it says with a grain of salt because uh, sometimes it chooses the most idiotic path possible. Oh, and what did we find? Ammunition. Oh, and some gold nuggets. Let's see, what do we have? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. piece of cheese and, and I feel better. Okay, press space for ability loadout menu. Let's see what this is. This must be how we build our character. While Dead Eye is active, you slowly regenerate Hmm. Or, while well, did I is active, your team members deal more damage. I guess that's good if you're playing in a group. While well, did I is active, paint targets on enemies. Fire your weapon to shoot at marked targets. Each shot drains dead eye. You cannot mark or be marked while in defensive playing style. Hmm. You know what? Here, I'll, I'll try this. I guess I have to equip it. So I guess that means I can go back and get other ability cards if I decide I don't like this. At least I'm getting back to a road here. Now, if the horse will do us the courtesy of coming back. Come on, horse. The horse is like, I'm tired, Joe. I don't want to go anywhere with you. Is this horse even trying to come here? Oh, here he comes. Oh, you know what? At this point, I could just run there. <laughs> They're right around the corner. Wherever this uh, Clay Davies is. <laughs> like I said, I've got a bullet with this horse's name on it. I'm getting tired. I see the little circle going down. Oh, 
Oh, sounds like the horse is finally going to show up. How nice. Uh, matchmaking? Hmm. Oh, all right, one to four players. So I guess it throws you into multiplayer right away. I was hoping for a little bit more solo time, but uh, to get myself acquainted. But here, let, let's see. Of course, I'm up at an odd hour, so who knows? Maybe we won't even find any uh, players. I guess the little revolver uh, cylinder that's rotating is our <laughs> our loading indicator. Uh, I like that. I guess I'm doing this by myself. <laughs> I win again. <laughs> Did Horley send you, Pop? I'm Clay Davies. This is my brother, Clive. He don't talk. Maybe you two will get along better. <laughs> Maybe not. Listen, I heard you wanted to earn some money. So, there's a gang of ne'er-do-wells. They are a bunch of degenerates, not good people. They're out of Manzanita Post with a bunch of horses they stole from me. <laughs> well, that's a lie, but they stole them off a fella I was gonna steal them off of. <laughs> Maybe you could get them for me. You think you could do that for me, Pop? Looks like you're doing this on your own. Well, good. Meet me at the stable in Blackwater once you have the horse flesh. And I'll pay you good. Oh, and Pop, Horley wanted me to remind you any decent work you can find, take it. But just try to stay out of trouble. Oh, and once you give me those horses, well, after that, we'll talk again. Oh, I do so enjoy these conversations. I'm used to them on account of my brother. Let's go, Clive. My guess is that this is our graduation from the tutorial. And, and it looked like it was designed for uh, four players, but eh, like I said, it's a weird hour. Nobody's awake. So I guess I'm all alone. Let's see if I can uh, get these horses. I'm not supposed to get more than one horse, though. Whoops. Oh, I didn't have far to go. This guy here on the road... Somebody I should worry about? Yeah. This place ain't for the likes of you. Back you go. Oh. All right. Well, you know, here, let me park my horse over here. I wonder if we can be sneaky. Looking that way. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Apparently you can be sneaky. I like it. Uh oh. Oh, this guy must have cataracts if he didn't see that. He's staring right at me, but I guess I'm out of his vision range. That's funny. Problem is, is that he's there on that porch, so I probably can't sneak up on him. Ah, oh, these are the horses. I'm guessing if I grab a horse, that guy's going to have an issue. Hey, since this is normally a group activity, I was going to try to be stealthy, but uh, it never does quite work out. Oh, I like this. I think I picked the right ability. Okay, that's R for reload. See, these X's on the ground on the mini-map are her victims. Oh, I see the X changes from dark to light after they've been looted. So I can see which ones I've looted and which ones I haven't. Since she's a new character, she can use all the goodies she can get. Let's explore. Is there anything good in here? This looks like it's a room full of stuff, but there is nothing I can pick up and use in here. Oh. Well, since I have a choice, uh, let's steal this nice horse here. Whoops. This way. <laughs> I'll kill you later. <laughs> oh, that guy's a bullet sponge. Okay, I guess I'm going this way.
Whoops. It's like uh, someone's coming right for me. This gun is they gave me. It's obviously not very powerful. <laughs> oh well. Seem to be the place. Well, well, well. Horley was right about you. Dead right. Ain't that dandy? Get that horse hidden away, Clive, and ready to move out as soon as we can. All right. Here's the money you earned. Now listen, Horley came by and gave me a message. He said to go see your friend Cripps up at your camp. Now listen to me for a second. Any other decent horses you find, we'll buy them. Just as soon as we are set up, okay? Nice meeting you. You know what? Hold on, boy. I call him boy because I'm older. 30 minutes, he went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, Clive. Okay, that's a little strange, so... I got paid to steal a horse that I get to keep. So they paid me to get myself a horse. Ah, video game logic. All right. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess I get to give my horse a name. Um. Hmm. Oh, let's see. I'll call you Freebie, because you are free. Oh, I get horse insurance? This must be uh, similar to the car insurance that they have in uh, Grand Theft Auto. So this is the horse equivalent. And if it's free, might as well take it. Hmm. You know, I have $29. Uh... Need a saddle. Uh, let's see, claim. 
so I guess the saddle was free. And we start off with a blanket. Oh, but I can't choose the colors. Oh well, at, at least the blanket is free. Oh, these things are all locked to levels. It looks like. Yeah, rank 23. Oh, well, looks like I get to choose the bedroll color. Uh, you know what? I'll go with charcoal. Keep everything nice and uh, dark. Now the Wow, this one's gold. Or, no, ah, it's cash, uh, but I, I can't afford them. Lantern? Where's collector roll rank 10? That's like headlights for horses. Oh, good, I get to choose the color of the saddlebag, too. Yeah, again, we're going to go with chestnut, or, well, charcoal, I mean. Oh, wait a minute, it costs money to change the color. Ah, never mind. So I'm I'm stuck with this default color, which doesn't really go with what I'm got, going for here. Oh, well. What the? Oh, did I just spend money on something? I sure did. Ah, uh, all right. That's what I get for clicking on things. I wasn't paying attention. All right. Ha! I thought it would show it to me and let me preview it. Hmm. All right. So I spent what little money I had on the horse. Let's find my camp. Feed the horse. Um, oh, shoot. Maybe I should have bought some horse feed or something back at the stables. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe in the future. Get on with Clay Davies. Horrible little wretch, in my opinion. Pop this and pop that. I'd like to pop him, a slime bucket. <laughs> anyway, I've got everything set up. Well, uh, what we have so far, place is pretty nice. I uh, think you did a good job for you. I'll earn my keep. When you get too old to fight, what choice have you got? It's either work or beg. I'd rather work. Oh, uh, I saw uh, Horley. Now, he wants you to come down and meet him in Blackwater when you get a chance. I think he might have some work for you. Oh, and uh, uh, while you're out on your travels, you may see some folk with uh, employment opportunities. Good folk, bad folk, looking for a tough guy with a gun to help them. Up to you if you uh, listen to him, I guess. You know, I I used to like that kind of stuff. At one time, I almost helped a clown steal an elephant. <laughs> but that's a very silly story. Welcome home. 
Make yourself at home. It is your home. Okay. Yeah, I guess that was the end of the tutorial. That's what I want, are weapons. My curiosity is peaked. I think I'm going to have a... Uh, I bet I'll have some fun in this title. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll end this video here. Join me next time here on Joe Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel, where we'll have fun exploring the world of Red Dead Online. Hmm. It should be interesting. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. See you next time.